Today's episode, Bob the Quail. This morning, Mrs. Bob has begun to move from the nest in the familiar ranch to the green forest because it would soon be time to hatch her eggs. Therefore, it was necessary to build a nest in a good spot where there were many hiding places. Mrs. Bob had her eyes on a place on the outskirts of the green meadow near the bramble bush house of Peter the rabbit. Peter, all the more reason I can't tell you. What would you do if, because of you, some accident befell me and my family? You'd feel terrible. Why, I'd feel sorry. Huh. My gosh, do you think I'm going to bother you in some way? I don't think that you would deliberately try to bother us, but all around us, taking aim at us, there are eyes, ears, claws, Many things. When you come to visit, thinking that nobody sees you, Somebody still may be watching. I see. I guess I didn't count on that. <laughs> Even I. If I told someone of our nest and something happened, I couldn't face my wife ever again. That's for sure. That's for sure. But if by chance I... Hey! If by chance I happen to find your nest, you won't get mad at me, will you? Huh? Huh? Mm. <laughs> Why, you really are the curious one. <laughs> but please, be careful and don't talk too much. See you later. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Who does he mean? Hmm. He couldn't... He couldn't possibly mean me. right now. Ah, I just thought that isn't it a little dangerous so close to the winding path? You needn't worry yourself about such things. But, but Reddy the Fox and the mean weasel often use this path. And Jimmy the Skunk who loves eggs also. Let's stop building a nest in such a dangerous spot. Oh, you are fool. That's why this is safe. Everyone always passes by, so on the contrary, it will be unnoticed. Is that so? Maybe you're right. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> Granny, are quail's eggs really that delicious? Sure, they're really delicious. If Bob and his wife have moved here, they will definitely have some eggs. We'll move in on them. Just like I said, isn't it? You sure are smart. 
Really? If you realize that, then go off a little way from here and give your whistle. Right, leave it to me. No, if you fly from here and they're seeing, what are you going to do? That's right. From now on, I'll walk in the shadow of the grass, and from a spot further down the line, I'll fly off. Remember, dear, it's very important to do the same thing on your return trip. It's up to you whether this place will be safe or not. I know, I know. Bob is going to build his nest. like that. If you don't pay close attention, Reddy the Fox or the Mean Weasel will get you, Peter. Be careful. <laughs> oh, Bob. Hiya, Johnny. Hiya, Peter. How are you two doing today? Hi, Bob. <sighs> Lately, I have a lot of bands from my whistling. Look, even Jimmy the Skunk is coming. Oh, ho! Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Did you come to listen to Bob's whistling, too? What do you mean? I'm just out for a stroll. Oh, and just by chance you strolled up to my house, right? Oh, what beautiful weather it is today for a stroll. And where did you build your home, hmm? I haven't seen your home anywhere. There's no reason to tell you. You might get hungry, and I couldn't stand to have my eggs taken. Just one or two would do. You do have lots of eggs in your nest, don't you? You, you eat eggs? eggs? Well, uh, uh, I think I'll go for a stroll that way. It sure is ideal weather today. Bob, it sure is rough for you with everyone out to get you. That's right. Oh my, another guest is coming up the trail. This time it's Reddy the Fox. Uh, it's Reddy. Let's go, Peter. <laughs> Hey, Bob. How are you today? Good, thanks. Up for a stroll, too, huh, Reddy? Yeah, sort of. A bad base of respect to you at the same time. Well, well, well. Peter and some friends were just here to pay their respects, too. That's so? Where'd they go? Hmm? I'd like to pay my respects to them, too. Must be home by now. That's so? And you, Bob, when are you going home? Just on my way right now. And how about you, Reddy? Yeah, I thought I wouldn't legally go home, you know. Well, see you later. Well, guess I'll go home. Him, all right. <laughs> now a more worried cry. Must be in here. <laughs> Everyone is searching every day for Bob's nest, but with no success at all. No one could find it. Oh. 
Then one day... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look out! Watch your feet, please, Johnny. Huh? Oh. oh, Mrs. Bob, glad to see you. Look who's here. Long time no see, Miss Bob. How are you? No, 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 no. Watch your feet. Huh? going to move to Peter's Thicket House nearby. And when the little ones start to move about, it might be dangerous in the old nest. Hey, moving? All right, then. I'll accompany you to the Thicket House. All right, everybody, follow me. So, you people were that near? Huh. Sorry we had to fool you, Peter. Oh, that's but all the forest creatures passed by there. You picked a really good place for your nest, didn't you? Of course. My wife built it, that's why. Now, all of you, follow your father. <laughs> Once they start flying. Now we're going to practice how to hide. What the? Aren't you going to hide? Seems so foolish. Look here, what did you say? You'd better do like the others and hide properly. It's only a practice. When it's for real, all that's necessary is to run away. You don't understand, my son. On the outside, they're scary. Fox, skunk, mountain lion, hawk, weasel, right? I know. Look, see this? Oh, thinks he's grown up enough by flying like that. I'm at a loss. Sure would like to watch. Must be making them practice other things today, too. Uh-oh! Hey, you. You're Bob's child, aren't you? That's right. What's wrong with you? Did you finish your survival training already? I think this is enough training, Johnny. Let's go play someplace wide and spacious. But that could be dangerous for you. It's okay. You don't want to. Wait! Bob's child on arriving at this spacious place is jumping and leaping about with all his energy. And he began to think that it was a good thing to train in such a spacious place. Well, 
I'm strolling with Bob's son. Hey, don't you go too far away. Don't worry. Say, he's going further and further, isn't he? La, 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 la. Oh, Johnny, look at that. Huh? You two'd better mind your own business. Oh. Oh. I'm going to tell everyone. Wait. Run, Polly. I'll handle ready. Granny, but don't give up and try again. You won't catch up. <laughs> Forgive me, Mrs. Bob, for putting your child through such an ordeal. <laughs> it's quite all right, Johnny. Today's event surely must have been very good medicine for him. What good news! I'll go tell everyone right away! Attention, everyone. Now let's prepare for aerial maneuvers. Go! All right, return to base. You made up your mind to go today? From now on, they can all get along as grown-ups. They needn't stick close to us any longer. They're on their own. Mr. Peter, you have to understand. We're all grown-ups. Grown-ups. Yeah, I, I understand, but but I'm going to be very lonely if you all leave the forest. <laughs> now listen, everybody, it's almost departure time. Everybody try and do their best. Yeah! Yeah! creatures brought up under the protection and love of their parents must eventually part and become independent. 
Johnny, Polly, and Peter all went through this. Now the baby quails likewise are undergoing this. There will be many dangers and sufferings ahead, but they'll all do their best to survive. <laughs>